In this video, we'll talk about traveler's diarrhea. Traveler's diarrhea is a digestive tract disorder that commonly causes loose stools and abdominal cramps. People who travel all across the world might have encountered this kind of traveler's diarrhea situation. It is caused by eating contaminated food outside or drinking contaminated water. And the key causative organism for traveler's diarrhea ranges from virus, bacteria or even could be parasites. Now you have increased risk of developing a traveler's diarrhea when you visit a place where the climate and the sanitary conditions are very different from the conditions at your home. Especially many travelers who visit in the developing countries might get this kind of travel traveler's diarrhea, especially when they are indulging themselves to try street foods and not having water from our good sources. This street food might look really lucrative and tasty, but it might have many microorganisms, bacteria and spores of them. That can cause things like traveler's diarrhea. Another major source is drinking water. If the water is not coming from a reliable source in third world countries where the sanitary condition is not that great, there could be contaminations in the water as well. Let's talk about what are the microorganisms that can cause traveler's diarrhea and what are the signs and symptoms. There are several microorganisms which are responsible for traveler's diarrhea, which includes enterotoxicogenic E. coli. Shigella and Salmonella species, Campylobacter jejuni, etc. It can be caused due to protozoans like Giardia. Also, there are viruses which can cause traveler's diarrhea like rotavirus, norovirus. Now, apart from Salmon, apart from Shigella and Campylobacter, none of these uh, organisms can cause a bloody diarrhea. Now, toxins produced by many of these bacteria leads to the symptoms. That leads us to the signs and symptoms of traveler's diarrhea. It involves abrupt onset of stool, at least passage of stool three or more times in a day. And generally, you have a loose, watery stool. That means diarrhea, right? Abdominal cramps, nausea, vomiting are pretty common. Sometimes the infection might be bit strong and it can lead to fever like symptoms. In this situation, body loses a lot of water because a lot of water is lost with the stool. That means oral rehydration therapy could be very useful to maintain the electrolyte and salt balance in the body and overall drinking a lot of water and staying hydrated would really help. In most of the cases, antibiotics would work because bacteria is the major cause of this kind of traveler's diarrhea. So with the antibiotic, bacteria would be killed and your body would recover slowly. Along with that, some amount of probiotic would help to establish the healthy bacterial composition in your gut. Now, there are several types of traveler's diarrhea caused by several types of microorganisms. If it is untreated, then a bacterial diarrhea can generally recover within uh, three to seven days whereas a viral diarrhea lasts for two to three days and a protozoanal diarrhea might uh, persist for a month so proper treatment for this is required in order to treat antibiotics is one of the option at the same time there would be ors and rehydration therapy which can maintain the body's fluid balance and keep you a little bit stronger in this situation. In case of viral diarrhea, there is no other specific medications. In case of protozoan mediated diarrhea, different medications other than antibiotics has to be used for treatment purposes. And with these treatment options, things can get better within like two, three days. The risk of traveler's diarrhea is very high in young and the old people because they don't have very good immune system. Also, if you are taking uh, proton pump inhibitors which reduce your gastric acidity, that can also increase the chances of traveler's diarrhea because gastric acidity or gastric acid is one of the things that kills many of the pathogen that get, gets inside our body with the food or water. So that could be one of the reasons as well. So in order to prevent this kind of unexpected traveler's diarrhea, 
you should always eat from reliable sources and also drink from reliable sources keeping a packet of ors with you might help in this kind of travel journey also the notes and flashcards associated with many topics are found in my facebook page my facebook page contains a lot of dynamic notes and flashcard with help which helps in revision as usual don't forget to like share and subscribe you can support my channel on patreon my courses are present in unacademy which is india's biggest online learning platform using my code ap10 can give you 10% discount you can follow me on social media feel free to connect i would be really happy to help thank you